Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And in this video, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks on how you can get your first nuclear while playing Black Ops Cold War. Now, this video is geared for players who are trying to increase their KD or figure out a method on how you guys can chain kills a lot easier and also a lot faster to get your score streaks more often and have them work for you to get your first nuke. Now, what I'm showing you guys right now is me literally just searching into a game with a friend who also has a 3 plus KD and I end up dropping a nuclear. Now, this is going to be on Combined Arms Assault playing armada which in my opinion is the absolute best game mode as well as the best map to go for your first snook or any type of gameplay for that matter in black ops cold war now with all that being said the like goal on this video is going to be 350 likes if you guys want to see any more gameplay breakdowns where i break down and analyze my gameplay or potentially break down and analyze your gameplay to help you guys improve make sure you guys absolutely smash the like button the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications and also if you guys want to see any more best class setups best settings or any other tips and tricks let me know down in the comment section of this video you guys can see here we're playing combined arms assault on armada this is like one of my favorite maps to play on in this entire game and i'm going to be using a method that allows me to streak up very very quickly chain my kills together and have my score streaks work in my favor now when going for your first nuke these score streaks are going to be very important that, you, that you're running now in my opinion you can either run two different score streak loadouts you can either run the uav the armor plates or you guys can run the war machine or you guys can run the armor plates the war machine or the chopper gunner now the chopper gunner method is very effective especially if you guys are playing you know combined arms assault or domination and your teammates start to lose map control, but you're on a streak. You can use the chopper gunner to kind of take the enemies out and help your teammates mount up, get back into position, get map control, and so you guys can actually rotate and run the spawns easier and more effectively. But on combined arms assault armada, the chopper gunner really isn't that good. I had it on in this gameplay. Kind of wish I had a UAV on instead, but hey, it really didn't matter. So whenever I am spawning in on Armada, especially when I'm on this D side area of the map, I like to call this the D side area because of the domination flag located literally right to my left. I like to rotate to this right hand side of the map and I like to run underneath the boat. The reason I like to go here is because I want to get to the right hand side of the map and stop any enemies that are trying to zip line onto my side and potentially cap the flag. Now right there, I actually take out an enemy who was trying to knife my teammate, so I got there just in time. So right here, I like to push up to this area in the early game. I only recommend you guys pushing up here in the early game because you can take enemies out, as you guys can see here, when they're trying to snipe my team, you know, from our side of the map. I'll only pick this guy off when he's on the turret. Now the reason I don't like to run the left-hand side of the map on this side is because the enemies especially if they are sniping they can actually see your teammates spawning in on your side of the map so i don't want to get spawn sniped i don't want to get killed off my spawn i'm going to go on the right hand side of the map go underneath the boat so i can alleviate all those problems from happening so right here you guys see here i'm just picking these guys off as they are trying to zip line to this boat area and i'm also kind of rotating and making sure that you know my teammates can gain some map control and potentially cap this first flag now i, I sound horn this guy shotgun him and again i'm kind of rotating this area to try to figure out exactly where these guys are going to be located at i actually hear these two players here now i made a mistake i should have stayed on the staircase should have waited for them to run on the corner but instead i kind of got ballsy and ended up paying you know the price i got taken out now right here again i spawn in on the right hand side i'm gonna be rotating on the right hand side of this map i'm gonna try to go underneath to take enemies out so they're not gonna be overflowing and you know pushing my teammates back so we don't lose map control and right here again i check middle to make sure there's nobody you know underneath middle sure potentially sniping my teammates or trying to cap the flag i rotate over here i get onto right side and i throw it down a jammer in this location right here now I'm just going to pause the gameplay and explain why I put a jammer in this location 
and why the Jammer is, in my opinion, the absolute best field upgrade. Now, the Jammer is fantastic if you guys are trying to go for your first nuke or just simply trying to increase your KD or trying to get more score. The Jammer is going to stop any C4s. It's going to stop the Bettys. It's going to stop the field mics. Pretty much any electronical equipment, it's going to shut down, which is very important when playing combined arms assault on Armada. Now, whenever you guys are locking down this area of the map, you guys know people have to sit here with field mics, trophy systems, Bettys. They like to camp this out and they don't really like to move. So having a Jammer in this location is going to be key so you guys can run it effectively and also not get picked up on the radar so i go into this building here and what do you know there's actually some guy that's sitting in here trying to snipe and pick my teammates off so i take him out i'm listening for footsteps you can actually hear enemies as they're running around in this area because of the, kind of the metal floors it's very easy to hear people i hear this guy over here i take him out rotate back over here now you guys can see here my teammates actually lost the first flag. Now, whenever we actually lose the first flag on Armada, ironically enough, this is actually a very good thing, and this kind of can work in your favor, especially if you guys are in the locations like I'm telling you guys to be, you know, mounted up at. Now, whenever you guys lose the first flag, the enemy team is actually going to spawn literally on this boat in the exact area that I'm in right now. They're going to spawn, seriously, right where I'm standing. They're going to spawn in in the other side of this area where I just shot this first player here. Now, when I take this guy out, 2015, this is 2015 college I'm going to try to hey, rotate to get back K, to a different position. Bag. Now, right here, I'm waiting because I know there's somebody on their side of the map that could potentially be trying to zip line. So right here, I rotate back over here. Again, look where these two guys are at. I take this guy out here because there's only one in that position. Um, I take this guy out here. I see another guy that's actually Good. running down, you know, trying to get to a middle map. None of that bullshit. Right over here. I don't shoot that guy because I know I can't take him out. <laughs> take this guy out here. I get my armor. I'm on a You're bloodthirsty. I see a guy that's trying to zip line from their spawn. Take him out. I'm on a six. And right now, I'm trying to rotate to get back to this side of the air. Yeah, I know they're going to be spawning right over now. here. And right here, oh. look at this. I take out these two guys. They literally spawn right there. That is a spawn point. They spawn right there, and they also spawn directly underneath where they were looking at, kind of, you know, further up. There's only three spawn points on this map when you guys are playing combined arms assault on Armada, and they cap the first position. This area here, right in front of them, and right in the area that I located and kind of pointed out earlier. There's only three spawn points. So right here, I'm trying to rotate this area trying to figure out exactly where these guys are at. I'm trying to pick up as many of them as possible so potentially my teammates do not get overrun. Now, right now, you guys can see here that my teammates actually got overrun and we're at the last flag. So I'm going to immediately rotate back to our spawn. Now, when we actually have, you know, all the flags capped against us besides the last flag, the enemy team is going to be spawning in directly outside of your spawn point and this is where things get very, very crazy and where I was able to streak up very, very quickly. Now, you guys can see here, I rotate back out. Over here when we, when they had the last point. I see a guy that's trying to snipe my team. I take this guy out. I'm on a nine. This guy literally spawns in right here. This is a spawn point. They literally spawn in directly where I'm looking at right now. This is where the enemy team spawns when you guys are at the last flag and you guys are spawning in kind of like at the D flag area of Armada. Uh, combined arms assault. I just killed three kids Take this guy out. I'm on an 11. I'm gonna try to rotate back around. Spawning up on top of me. I throw it down a jammer so they can't see me. All the equipment is shut down. I spin up my war machine. Take this guy right here. I'm on a 13. I see a guy's in there, but the spawn shield's kicking in. Ah damn it! I'm getting fucking. Uh... I'm on a 15. War machine. This guy here. I'm on a 16. I shoot up in there to check to make sure there's nobody up there right there i'm on a 17 i'm on an 18 that's nine kills very very quickly just picking enemies off as they're taking you know as they're spawning in trying to take my teammates out i'm on a 19 again already by the war machine no no good i see that they're actually spawning in directly to the left hand side right here i know that i'm kind of sandwiched right here so i just run away whenever you guys are in a position that you guys are getting sandwiched and there's no way you can win the one fight, there's no problem with running away. 
And right here, walk around, aim down sight, just in case there's somebody around the corner that I do not hear, or maybe they're crouch walking. And I'm trying to rotate and trying to get back into the enemy spawn so I can take them out as they're trying to run out and potentially take my teammates out. Now right here, instead of actually running on the right-hand side of the map, I decided to go on the top left-hand side. And the reason I do not go to the right-hand side is because... My thought process was, okay, since we lost the flags, they're probably either, you know, underneath on right-hand side or they're sitting on a head glitch waiting for me to run down. So I decided to go the top left-hand side and cut through mid because I'm thinking, potentially, the enemies could be sniping middle map, picking my teammates off as they're trying to zip line, you know, and get onto this boat. They're mid. So right here, I checked to see if people are up at mid. There is a guy. I got him. I'm on a 20. Run down here. I hear him. I'm going to take this guy out from behind. I'm on a 21. You guys can see a lot of my kills in this gameplay are from behind. I'm flanking. I'm playing as smart as I can to try to take enemies out because I know that my teammates are not mounting up. Now, right um, here, you guys can see that we actually put the flag back to middle map. So what I'm going to do right now we'll is try to mount up and get right back to my previous location, which is yeah, gonna be on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna try to container. rotate, I saw one run down the way. you know, this area over here. There you go. My teammates are trying to rotate up. I'm trying to, you know, rotate mid as best as I can because I see that my teammates are not yet mounted up and they could potentially be waiting. I, hear, I see that guy that zip lined up there. Right now, I'm just trying to play as smart as I can and potentially not get sniped. I'm on a 22. So right now I see there's an opening. I got teammates mounted up. I don't see any enemies. I'm going to try to rotate all the way around here and get back to the area that I was actually at. So right here I saw him on the radar. I'm on a 23. Let's see for footsteps. Get back in this room over here. On 24. 24. I'm waiting on the head glitch. Just sit on the head. This is going to be a fantastic spot. If you guys are trying to take enemies out, sit here. I got my war machine right here. This is going to be a perfect position. Sitting on that head glitch, shooting enemies as they're zip lining to your side of the map. Perfect. Especially if you have a body armor and war machine out. So right here, just going to be sitting here just waiting because I know they're going to have to come to me. I know the enemies are going to have to come to me. So there's absolutely no reason for me to be running and gunning. Especially that war machine out. So right here, I'm just sitting, literally just sitting come here on, waiting. The zip line. I want them to hit the zip line so I can get some kills. We're missing him, 27, 28. Just listening for footsteps. See a guy on the turn over there. We capped the we've capped the first flag. 29. I got there we it. go. Let's got go, a 30. Boys. We got the nuke. Woo! And there we go. Let's go. That's how you guys you can guys do it. Out of Mata combined arms assault. It's all about putting yourself in the absolute best locations and, 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 and trying to take enemies out from behind and also making sure that you guys are using your score streaks in your favor. The War Machine does count towards your nuke, so you kind of want to play for your body armor as well as your War Machine and take enemies out when yeah, you can. you were helping me out big time. Shit. I mean, call my chopper gunner. Right now, I'm just kind of rotating back out. Actually, go into a safe location right here. The reason I actually zip line down here is because I actually kind of wanted to call my chopper gunner in. So I go here. This is going to be a good location to call it, and I know they're not going to go ahead and try to look for me in this area. Just try to go ahead and just increase my KD at this point. Just using the chopper gunner. Mowing these guys down. But yeah, that's how you guys can get a nuke on combined arms assault on Armada. In my opinion, like I said, yeah, this I is the best map. The absolute uh, easiest map to play, like especially if you guys are playing Assault, when you guys are trying to get your first nuke. I recommend you guys playing Combined Arms. I know a lot of you guys like Nuketown, 
and in like playing that because you guys can get a lot of quick kills very quickly but realistically if you guys are trying to build up a kill streak and you guys are trying to learn how to chain kills together i believe that combined arms assault armada is going to be your best bet so right now they're just taking my chopper gunner out chopper gunner really isn't that good on this map it's decent if they have you know all their flags cap besides one you can kind of spawn kill them with it but in reality i do kind of wish i had a, a, a uh, UAV, but it is what it is. So I'm right now. I'm just trying to rotate. I'm trying to get to their side of the map here. I'm just gonna zip line down there because I know that we're gonna win the game. You know, we're capping it. We have you know the momentum up. There's nothing. There's really nothing they can do. The game's just kind of ending right now. I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of playing for my KD at this point. And there we go. I end up going 47 and 1 with a nuke. This is how you guys can go ahead and get your first nuke when playing Combined Arms Assault on Armada. Like I said, best map and best game mode. So, with all that being said, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to go over my MP5 class setup very quickly for you guys as well. And yeah, if you guys need any more tips and tricks, let me know down in the comment section of this video. All right, so here's an MP5 class setup that I recommend you guys using if you guys are trying to use this weapon to get your first nuke. Now, for the MP5, I recommend you guys running the Agency Suppressor. I will recommend you guys running the 9.5-inch Task Horse Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, the Field Agent Grip, the Salvo 40-round Fast Mag, or the Stenag 50-round Drum, the Airborne Elastic Wrap, and then finally, the Raider stock is a fantastic attachment to use on the MP5 when going ahead and trying to get your first nuke using this weapon. In my opinion, the MP5 as well as the XM4 and the AK-47 are the three best weapons to use in this game when trying to get your first nuke. The M16 and the AUG are good as well, but those guns are on the spectrum of getting a massive nerf. So if you guys want consistent weapons that are not going to be getting completely destroyed in a future update, the XM4, the MP5, as well as the AK-47 are going to be some solid weapons of choice to use here in Black Ops Cold War. Now for the secondary, I like to run the Gallo SA-12. I have on the duck build Choke, the 24.8-inch Task Force Barrel, the SWAT 5 milliwatt Laser Sight, the Stenag 12-round Tube, and then finally I have on the Marathon Stock. And for the Lethal, or the Tactical, I should say, the Stem Shot, Lethal, the C4, the field upgrade I have on the Jammer, and I'm running Tactical Mask, Scavenger, as well as Ninja, all possible with the Gunfighter Wildcard, which allows me to run up to eight attachments on my primary weapon. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Hope you guys check out this MP5 class setup. It's amazing. I've dropped multiple nukes with this, and I think you guys will be successful. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys absolutely smash up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. If you guys made it this far into the video, odds are you are enjoying the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough. Now, if you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.30 p.m. Central Time, I am live streaming Black Ops Cold War over on Caffeine.tv. Caffeine is a live streaming service that features a lot of popular Call of Duty content creators. As you guys can see here, Right Away is live right now on Caffeine and he actually just dropped a nuclear. Now, if you guys want to watch me play Black Ops Cold War live and also potentially jump and play a few games with me, all you have to do is download the Caffeine app or you guys can type caffeine.tv in the Google search bar. The app is available on Android as well as iOS. Now, once you guys actually get to the Caffeine website or, like I said, download the mobile app, you can go to the search bar and type in ears. Now, my Caffeine profile is literally caffeine.tv slash ears. Exactly what you guys see on my YouTube channel is what you're going to see here on the Caffeine profile. My Account is verified so you guys know it is 110% me. So if you guys want to go ahead, chill in the live streams, play some Black Ops Cold with me, or just support me as a creator, make sure you guys download the Caffeine app, click on the link at the top of the description of this video, and come hang out in the streams.